This is a death match between the Light of Eltharion and the Achillean King of the Iron of Deep King, Elf against Elf. Hello, this is 60 Goblins and One Brush with another real death match of the Light of Eltharion against another hero of equal point value. This time the Achillean King will challenge Eltharion. He cost 240 points, 7 wounds, 3 plus save. He has the Great Sword, 4 attacks, 3 plus, 3 plus, and D3 damage. You could use the pole arm, but that only is helpful in the charge phase, and you only charge once. And the two rend don't hurt Ethereum. Then he has the Deep Mare Horns, which means if he charges, then on a 2+, plus, the enemy suffers D3 mortal wounds. And he's the Achillean Paragon, that means he can reroll hit rolls of 1. And he could use his Felchion, but then he uses, uh, loses 1 save, which is not good against Ethereum. That brings me to the point where I have to apologize. I made a mistake in the fight. Uh, Eltharion against the Arch Cover Los Santos because um, all death heroes have a 6 plus after save. I tried it out now, it would not have saved him, it would only have prolonged his suffering. So, in the end, Eltharion wins after all, in spite of the after save. Okay, back to this match. Eltharion has an insane damage output and an insane ethereal armor. He's extremely hard to kill and he can and he can cause a lot of wounds with his exploding sixes and d3 damage and on the one weapon three rin. While to wound him you have to get through his three plus unmodifiable armor and then the damage is halved. As always I will use the prosecutor as a proxy because I don't have the model because it's not out yet available yet and we do two rounds one time Eltharion charges and hits first and one time the king charges and hits first and if they survive the first round you we always roll off who turn it is next time okay so let us assume no let us not assume someone charges but let's roll off two for oh both equal initiative again, two for Altharion and one for the king. Oh, Altharion strikes first. That's new. Okay, four times Selenar, uh, Thank Sword, he charges. It's, an, it's a six, exploding six. And no sixes to wound. A one. Who's also hurt when he charges in that turn? Oh, all of this, my goodness. That's tough. So he has to save, only save one. Because of the three rend. Ah, only three damage. That's nice. Then the Selenari blade. Yes. And to wound, yes. Then he saves on a 4-up, yes, saved. Okay, not too bad. Now he strikes back the king, first with his great sword. 4 attacks, 3 plus, 3 plus. Mm -hmm. He would have rerolled ones, but not to wound. Okay. Etherin uh, ignores rend, so on a three, saves one, doesn't save one. D3 damage, only one. Then the deep mare's jaws and talents, yes, they hit. And yes, they wound. Then he saves on threes. Ah, only one saved, 
Um, and how much damage is that? Only one. So two more damage. Where's the three here? And the deep mass lashing tails, yeah, all these beautiful tails here. Another three attacks, he can reroll hit rolls of one. Two wound. One is a one. Um, Atheron saves on a three plus. Yes, saved. So both have three damage now. Okay, let's see who strikes next. Eltherion 6, King 3, okay. This time Eltherion always strikes first. Protex with a Fang Sword. Oops, one dice fell down. Die fell down. Okay, all of them, no sixes. Three of them. Uh, the King can save on sixes. One six. Damage four. And that's it, he's dead. Etherion wins. Okay, let let us have the king charge now. On a two plus that's the three mortal wounds. One. Great. Mortal wounds is the best thing against Etherion. Okay, and then four attacks with the great sword. He can reroll once. That's a nice thing to have. But still, he doesn't hit on a two. Only Heltherion hits on a two. And two wound. Oh, only one. Heltherion saves. No, he doesn't save. He three wounds. One only. Where did these ones come from? It was really bad. Then three times the draws and talents. Yes, two. Therion saves on a three, both of them. Three times the lashing tails. Two ones. Two wound. Oh, only one again. Therion's does not save. Two wounds is halved, so he gets another one. Only two. So Etherian only suffers two wounds. That's not a good basis for the king. Etherian strikes back. He has two sixes. Oh my god. Wounds. Wounds don't count. Three. Now um, the king saves on a six. No six. Damage. One, two, three, four damage. Then the Selenari blade. It's a six. Okay, that's a one. So two go through. Um, one ren, so he saves on a four plus, saves one damage, one only. Okay, let's see who goes next. Five for Ethereum. Ah, Ethereum strikes first. That's going to be fatal. Yes, very, very, very fatal. Ooh. So all of these saves on a six. One, three go through, damage, one, two, three, four, five. The king dies, and Eltharion wins again. Okay, this Eltharion is brutal. My god, how can you kill him? The killing king can't, that's for sure. The best so far was the Chaos Lord on Kaka Drug. What you need is something or someone with a great mortal wounds output. So let's try a Bloodthirster next time. A Bloodthirster is much more expensive. But it seems that Etherion can easily snuff out any candles of his own caliber. 
points wise. So thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, write in the comments which deathmatch you would like to see. Who should I pit against Altharion next after the Bloodthirster? Your wish is my command.